Hello, this is Bino. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with uh, professionals and beginners. Um, what I have planned today is to talk about the SRS systems that I'm using and the mechanical hitches and the rope wrench that I use. I want to give you some of the pros and cons and give you what I like best. Well, let's get to it. I would start off by talking about my mechanical hitches and what I have is a Rope Runner Pro and an Akimbo. I'll start off with the Rope Runner Pro. Um, this is a really nice piece of equipment, beautifully made. Um, I like a lot of things about it. Um, the slick pins stay attached and everything on it really stays attached. The way it operates when you, um, when you ascend, it's really smooth. You clip to this um, tie-in point and as you go it moves with you and when you want to descend it's really fast moving um, really smooth really nice piece of equipment um, a little downside for me where where you have a, a carabiner you gotta make sure you get carabiners with the catch not too big of a deal um, from this one I'll move over to the akimbo oh well before I go to the akimbo when you do adjustments on this because um, if you move to different ropes there's a chance you'll have to do adjustments. You'll need a tool to do that. Um, kind of tough. If you're up in the tree, it'd be kind of tough to pull a tool out and adjust it. So it's not like super simple all the time. Um, now the akimbo, this is really nicely made, same thing. Um, and it's really smooth on the line. And when you decide to descend, great. Same thing with a carabiner, you have to do that. Something that I don't like so much is this opens up but it's a safety, um, it's the reasons for safety, understand it. Um, what's really awesome about this is the way it adjusts. I mean, you could do it up in the tree, um, open it up and make adjustments and right back to go. That, that's a really awesome thing about it. Now, for me, with, with both of these, I had to, um, so for the Rope Runner Pro here, well, I've got multiple different lines and um, what I've narrowed it down to for me and it could be a lot to do with my weight I can use it with the ecstatic so I, I make my adjustments and now I use it with the ecstatic and now I can do really good I could go up and down the tree and move smooth wherever I want to go it's great but if I jump from this one to the adrenaline now it runs on me so it's kind of frustrating. Then I would have to, you know, get this, adjust it. And then even after I adjust with this one, it still wanted to creep. So, um, like I said, it might be some of my weight reason, but it would always creep. And now when I go to the akimbo here, when I'm using the akimbo, I tried it on different lines. I it wouldn't work with my ecstatic. I can use it with adrenaline. Now, you know, if I go from adrenaline back to this, it still doesn't work. It really sticks. It doesn't move very well. It's kind of frustrating for me, you know, come kind, of, kind of the downsides for me. Um, well, let me jump over to the rope wrench next. Well, next I wanted to talk about the rope wrench and what I've experienced with it. So when I first started with the rope wrench, I had a system that was this system here um, with just a regular old pulley. Um, you know, and once I figured out my knot, it worked really, really well. And I do, I like, I'm an old school guy, so I really like the way knots fill. What's really cool about this is that I could use pretty much any knot that I liked. There were some that I didn't like so much, but as soon as I found the ones that I liked, then it works really well. Um, what I didn't like about this system was this, this was so long, so I, I started venturing out and looking for other ones. Um, I created one of my own. It's this one here. It's, it's really short and I use a, a short hitch and it worked really well. And um, I believe I was using 11 millimeter line and whatever line I choose to work on, it was working great. So with, with this rope wrench setup, I've used it on multiple different lines. I've used it on a, a half inch round line, really um, solid line, never had an issue. Um, I've also used it on this um, Samson true blue and it's really a soft rope um, able to go move up and down the tree works really well doesn't slide on me um, use it on this ivy and it's the same situation um, I've even used it on the adrenaline and the ecstatic and on each of these lines whatever setup I've never had an issue going up and down the tree 
And I gotta say, it's not a smooth ride. I mean, it's it's rope on rope. Something that I'm used to, gotta admit, I really enjoy that part of it, but it really didn't matter, or it doesn't really matter what line I choose to use. I got my setup, I got my hitch. As long as on my hitch and everything I expect, inspected on it is good to go, I could move from multiple different lines. So um, what I'm really enjoying about the rope wrench is that aspect of it. Sure, it's not it's not as um, smooth moving. It doesn't um, descend as fast. You can't just jump out and bomb down a tree because you could burn your line. But that's okay because I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> but for me and the experience that I've had, and even in a setup like this, I've used this setup with a double eye pulley. I've used the um, hitch climber pulley and even the single. And any of these um situation it's always worked great for me never had an issue so here we go with these mechanical hitches the akimbo and the rope runner really great things you can do with it the smoothness of them how uh, quickly you could descend without ruining your line um, you know one's better at adjusting the akimbo is that's a great thing this you need a tool really bad downside for me the thing that i don't like the most is with the rope wrench I use it on a specific line because it hasn't worked on my other lines and same with the akimbo I use it on one line the Venn line <clears throat> the thing is they're expensive they're around 350 high price point to play, pay um, you should be an expert if you're using this it's, it shouldn't be that you get it from the beginning as a learner you should be in the trade learn the hitches and then get something like this and I move over to the rope wrench here. Oh, and what I was going to say about these two, you really, they're not customizable, really. It, it is what it is. So you don't want to alter it. Now with the, the rope wrench, you, you know, I can use it on multiple different lines. I can use it on half inch. I could use it on 11 millimeter. I can use it on a static line. I can use it on a line that is a little bit elastic um, without adjustment. I can, you know, all I have to do is use a hitch. Uh, what's awesome is that I can customize it to the way I like it. If I didn't like a long tether, I could put a long tether on. Or if I wanted a short one, I could do that. I can use multiple different types of pulleys or carabiners. I can use different lengths of hitches and I could use different kinds of cords, which is awesome. Um, it doesn't move as quickly up in ascending or descending. It's not something where you can just bomb out of a tree because yeah, there's a chance of burning your line. Um, it's a lot less money. It's about half the price of either of the two. If you, you know, really it's, it could be half the price because mostly if you're in tree care, you already have the pulley and the French pressing. So for a tether and the rope wrench, it's not that expensive. But for me, I think my pick would be this rope wrench just because it's been more reliable for me and I can do so many different things with it. I can use it on any different line. I can, I've been, it's worked really well for me. So it's my favorite. I really do like the other two. They're great, especially when I have it on the ecstatic for the rope runner and I have the akimbo on the adrenaline. Yeah, that, that's my pick, the rope wrench. These mechanical hitches and the rope wrench are a great asset to tree care. Um, remember that if you guys are going to be buying this stuff, if you're going to get anything arborist gear, whether it's new SRS stuff or old equipment, buy it from a, a reputable arborist supply company. Um, remember, if you're going to try some new techniques or new gear, do it low and slow. You don't want to get hurt. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.